What is going on everybody? Hope you are having a fantastic, fantastic day today. And today I'm coming at you with my beginner's guide for Naruto Storm Connections. I've seen quite a few YouTubers do this already and it's very interesting to see how everybody comes up with their own different strategies and advice for new players. Originally, I had recorded a beginner's guide with my Twitch chat, but that video turned out to be very long, very kind of unscripted and not really organized. So I wanted to make a more organized, scripted recording for you guys. Uh, my guide is going to be a bit different than most people's guides because I'm actually going to be giving you step-by-step -step instructions. I want you to follow along with this video as to what you can do to go ahead and learn this game so without any further ado let's go ahead and hop into the first step and the first step is going to be where we are at right now first of all it's going to be your control mode for this game i do recommend turning on normal controls and turning off simple controls i do think simple controls can be viable especially if you came from a game like demon slayer but if you're just new to this game and you really want to learn it i do recommend using normal controls and the reason for that is at the highest level, normal controls simply perform better than simple controls. And I want you guys to have those foundations. I know you're just starting out now, you're just learning the game, but as you get better down the line and you want to learn some more advanced things, I think you want to have that normal control foundation. So that is the first thing I would recommend using normal controls. Next, I would recommend picking a good team. So I'm going to give you some examples of some main characters that are good and some support characters that are good. In this game, you really just want to pick a main character with some good support. So let's go ahead and go over that. Some good main characters that you can pick. I'm not going to list everybody, just a few, just looking at the character select screen. Storm 3 Kakashi is a strong character. Neji is a strong character you could use as a main character. You could use Minato, uh, the new Sasuke, if I can find him here. The new Sasuke, the Baryon Mo Naruto, the Saradas are great as main characters. Gar is a great main character. Pain is a great main character. So there's a handful. I would definitely recommend picking a strong character with some strong supports. I think that will make it easier. Obviously, pick who you like. Most of the main characters in this game are pretty viable. But I would say for supports, you definitely do want to pick stronger supports. Because as you're newer, you're going to need those stronger supports. And we'll go over why that is important later down the line. So, let's go to the next part of this first step, which is just picking a good support character. I'm going to do the same thing I did with main characters, but tell you which supports are good. So, Tailed Beast Bomb Naruto, great support, has clones, which is very strong, has an armored Rasengan. You have Hinata, which is another great support. She has an air rotation and an air air palms, which is great. Uh, moving on down the list, you have... One that I could think of is PTS Tamari here. She has a lot of armor on her support on her Wind Scythe, which is really strong. Pain is another great support. His push is armored and he does a double push. Also, his pull can be armored as well, uh, which is really strong. Um, Indra is another great support. He will always like make that Amaterasu Flame come out if you just call him out. He's almost always going to get that Amaterasu Flame out which is really really good so he's another strong support that i would recommend this sarda has a lot of armor on her chidori which is another great support of course we mentioned hinata before baryon mode naruto has a nice air rasengan with a good hitbox he also does have a pretty quick full map attack that causes a crumble which is pretty good as well mitsuki is another great support he also has poison tags which I'm going to save poison tags for another video. Let's just say they're really good in this game. But Mitsuki's a great support. He has armor and he can do many hits. Um, and I just think of Aruchimaru as well. He has Blade Dance, Aruchimaru does. And he has a Wind Jutsu, which is pretty quick and causes a knockback. So there's a lot of good support in this game. But I would recommend picking a good main and picking a good support. So for the purpose of this title video... Uh, tutorial video excuse me i'm going to be using my team here now i do want to say one more thing before we move on to the next step is the items that you will have will be the items of your first character as i mentioned poison tags are really good we'll get into that in a later video this is a beginner's guide i recommend if you're a beginner 
Try using an attack up pill and a defense down tag. A great character to do this would be Naruto. Sarda has it as well, but I do recommend having like a Naruto support. Preferably this tailed beast bomb Naruto on your team if you're new. I think he's he's just a great support for new players because you get the attack up, you get the defense down, you get a, get a great support, and he can also use Rasengan in the air as well, uh, which can be good. So I would recommend doing that. I'm going to use this team for this tutorial, and I will see you in the next step. I'll see you on the battlefield for the next step. Alright, so the next step we're going to have here is movement. The first thing that you're going to do when you're getting into a match with your opponent is you're going to try and get in on your opponent and they're going to try and get in on you. You're going to be in the neutral game, so it's important that we go over this first. The first thing I want you guys to practice is practice dashing and stopping your dash. Practice stopping your dash midway, practice stopping it right in front of them. You could practice even full screen dashing them, but keep in mind... The reason we want to practice stopping our dash is for multiple reasons. One, just to have good movement to defend ourselves. And two, if our opponent counters, we could stop our dash right before them and then go ahead and swing on them. That way, we can play through that counter, okay? So it's important to do that. So practice the dash, practice stopping right before them, get very comfortable with it. And once you do that, then you can go ahead and move on to the next thing that we have here in the second step. And the next thing is going to be moving around. Don't just be stationary. Move around, throw shuriken, get used to double jumps, hop back if you need to defensively, and use counters if you predict your opponent is going to dash you. If you don't have many subs, you can hop back like this, counter them if they're going to dash you. If you want to be offensive, do this, stop your dash if you predict a counter. Or if you don't think they're going to counter, you can just full screen dash them. So practice doing things like that. And another thing that you want to do for getting in is utilize your support. For example, I have Hinata here. I could use an air palm, which can help me get in. I also have Naruto, and I could go ahead and use his clone jutsu to help me get in as well. Now, support does not only have to be used offensively, you can use it defensively. Say my, my opponent is able to get in on me, but well, I can use Hinata to have him get off of me. Say my opponent's able to get in, I could use something like maybe an armored Naruto Rasengan, if I time that correctly, to go ahead and get him off of me. So, use your support both offensively and defensively to help you get in and to protect yourself when your opponent gets in on you. Okay. Next, let's move to the next step, which is going to be substitution management. All right, so the next step here is going to be managing your substitutions. I'm just more so going to talk during this step, but managing your subs and getting rid of your opponent's substitutions are very, very, very important in this game. In previous Storm games, subs were tied to the amount of damage you took because we have damage scaling in this game that is no longer the case. So if you get opened up, you're going to be taking potentially a lot of damage. This means, like I said, you need to be careful not to get caught with zero subs, but conversely, we want to catch our opponent without any subs so we can do damage to them. As a general rule, when it comes to substitutions, you do not need to sub right away because support can be very good defensively in this game. So, say I'm getting hit, maybe I can call out Hinata to protect me. Or say I'm getting hit, maybe I can call out Naruto to protect me. Depending on what the situation is, depending on what your support is, and how they're armored, you can do it that way. So, utilize your support. If I'm getting hit in the air, I'm going to call Hinata instead of wasting a sub to get them off of me if I have her available. I might try and time an armored Rasengan here for Naruto to get them off of me. And if I'm in the air, he can do his jutsu in the air as well. So don't be too hasty with your subs because they are valuable. Now, in terms of getting rid of your opponent's subs, after your opponent's subs, you want to get in the habit of going ahead and dashing them right away okay so like this follow up okay when they sub you want to dash and you want to follow up and keep that pressure on now it's a good habit to have but you need to be careful because if your opponent predicts you to dash then they can counter you so that's why what we talked about before stopping your dash is important say your opponent subs and it's hard to do it here because they sub instantly but say your opponent subs and i dash then i'm going to stop my dash predicting the counter and then continue my mash so, you're going to be playing a, a bit of neutral game, even when the subs are coming back as well. But, I know this is a very basic video. I just want you to keep in mind from the substitution sec section, manage your substitutions, use your support to protect you, and get in that habit of dashing your opponent when they sub, but watch out for those counters, okay? Now, 
we are going to go ahead and move on to our next step which is going to be combos. I will see you in the next step. All right, so for the fourth step, we are gonna be going over some combos for you guys. So once you are able to get rid of your opponent's subs and open them up, I'm gonna show you guys a basic BNB that you can do to do more damage than just mashing, circle, and dashing. So the first thing I want you guys to do is go over to your practice menu. I want you to put your ninja tools to unlimited, and I want you to put this guard setting to when damaged for the dummy in training mode. What we're going to be testing is we are going to look for a stagger animation or a crumble animation. Okay, so this here is a stagger animation. See how they can't guard right away? And then here is a crumble animation. See how they fall down like that? That can be picked up in Naruto Storm Connection. So, whatever your main character is, find in their combo where they have a stagger or a crumble. And that's the first thing I want you to do because every character in this game has some sort of infinite. So the first thing I want you guys to practice is just doing the infinite. So just jump and just keep doing the combo. So you do that stagger or you can do the crumble and then just dump, jump and keep doing the combo. I want you to practice this until you're comfortable with it. Keep doing this, take as long as you need and so you can do it just like I'm doing it right here, okay? And I extended that a little further, but I want you to do that until you're comfortable. You can pause the video if you need to, go ahead and do that. But the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be, I'm going to be introducing you guys to item cancels. I know this is a beginner video, but I think it is a fairly easy BNB &B that you guys can do just starting out. So... What is an item cancel exactly? An item cancel is when you are mid-combo, and then you hop out of the combo. So I'm using a ninja move using my X button. Okay, so just press that X button to hop out of your combo like this, and then you do an item. So, and then you do an item. Now, if you do it faster, it looks like that, and you can continue doing a combo, okay? And if you picked an attack up and defense down character, like I recommended for this guide, you can actually throw the tag after doing the, at the attack pill cancels. Let me show you what that looks like. So this is the next step. So once you get used to doing the infinite, I want you to do the infinite, but do an item cancel every time. And I want you to get used to this. This might take a minute for you to learn, but I want you guys to have a basic BNB that you can do. So... Just keep doing this. Item cancel. Remember, circle, 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 sidestep, item cancel, tag. Keep doing this. Do this until you get used to it, okay? Keep doing this. Pause the video, do what you need to do, but keep doing it, okay? Once you're done with that, I'm going to show you a basic BNB &B that you can do, okay? So, what I want you to do, or that BNB, use your item cancel. Do another loop, and then throw an ultimate jutsu, just like that. So, with any character that you have, do your stagger or crumble animation into your attack up pill, into your defense down tag, and then do that combo again, and throw out an ultimate. So you might be wondering, why not extend that combo further? Well, that's where damage scaling comes into play. If you extend a combo longer, the higher your hit count is, the more the damage is going to scale. So, just a very basic, it's not the most optimal BNB in the world, but it's super basic, just to do your cancel into an ultimate and you'll do good damage. Okay? So a very basic BNB that you can do if you're new to the game. I guarantee you're going to be do doing more damage than pressing circle, 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 and dashing, and circle, circle, circle. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and move on to the next step. Alright, so the next step is going to be air to ground combos. So, most characters, they can convert their air combo to a ground combo. So to do that, just do your air combo, and then dash the opponent, and then you can do the ground combo. So, practice this which with, with whichever character you're using. The reason you want to practice this is because sometimes you won't always catch your opponent on the ground. You might catch them in the air, so if you do, just do this, and then you can go ahead and do exactly the combo that you were doing before so let's do the full thing together and there you go 
And there is an air to ground combo. You can do the exact same combo if you want to. Again, this is just a super duper basic BNB just for you guys to get some good damage off. So let's see how much we deal with this combo here. And we just did 41% with a simple air to ground combo. We used our items. Keep in mind, you might not, not always have the items available to you. So if you don't have the items, you can just do the combo without it. And so keep that in mind. If you are interested in more advanced combos, make sure you subscribe to the channel because like I said, it's super basic. It's not the most optimal thing in the world, but it's just a beginner's thing. You know, most beginner's guides probably won't have you doing item cancels, but I'm not sure. So there you go. That's how you do them. Let's move on to the next step. All right, guys, so the sixth step is going to be to practice. We have actually gone over a good amount here. We've gone over the basics. We've gone over which controls I recommend that you use, some good supports, some good mains for you guys to pick on your team. We have also gone over how you can use dashes, how you can use support and movement and counters to either open up your opponent or get them off of us. And we've discussed how to manage your substitutions and how to do a basic BNB when we're able to catch our opponent with no subs. Now what you need to do is you need to go out there and you need to practice these skills in real matches. Do not be worried if you lose at first. The more you play, the better you will get. I promise that's true with any game. I guarantee you will be better than a new player who hopped on the game and did not watch this video. So playing will help you practically apply what you've learned. And whenever you lose, I want you guys to do this. Whenever you lose or you find yourself getting caught with no subs, I want you to analyze what did I do wrong here? How did my opponent open me up? How did my opponent beat me here? And what could I do better? Because even if you can, even if your fingers can't keep up with it, if your brain is thinking in the right direction, like, oh, this is what I need to be doing, you will get there as you get more and more accustomed to the game. So that is going to be it. That's going to be my six super basic. Like I said, this is a basic tutorial. If you want something more advanced, I will be doing more advanced guys later and BNBs. So for the final, final step of your training, I guess you want to call this a bonus step. I recommend watching players who are familiar with the game in addition to playing the game because you have to play the game and you need to supplement it by watching players. Don't just watch and never play. They ne it needs to be both for you to be able to learn and to be able to get better. So myself, I am live on Twitch every day playing Naruto Connections. I am happy to answer any questions that you guys might have in the chat. I try to read every message. And I'm happy to help you guys out. So I promise you, like I said, playing and watching, you will get better at the game. That is going it to be it for me. If you guys have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments or you can ask them to me live on Twitch. I'll be happy to help you guys. If you guys want to see any other specific videos or BNBs for a specific character, please leave that in the comments down below. I'm going to be having a BNB for Sasuke coming out soon. We're going to talk about poison tags too. They are uh, kind of crazy, but um, we'll get to that in future videos. This is a super, super basic guide on how to play the game. Just things you should be thinking about, but the more you play, the more you will learn. I would like to thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video or on Twitch. Have a fantastic night and I'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.